What's going on guys? Welcome to my video today. This is Hawaii Knife and Gear and I've got something I wanted to show you. This is from a company that uh, I haven't actually had any of their knives before. So this is a first for me and the company is Steel Will. So, you know, as the saying goes, either go big or go home. So the first knife that I decided to get from this company, I actually got this in trade from a friend of mine. And this monster of a knife is the Plague Doctor. And I, I knew it was going to be big, but as soon as I got home, even just from picking up the box, I knew this thing was going to be a beast. So it really did not disappoint. I mean, this thing is just a hefty chunk of knife. And I like a big knife. This thing might, you know, push the boundaries of that a little bit, but overall really comfortable and just a really solid well-built hunk of knife so let me give you some specs on it here so you can see what I'm talking about overall length on this thing is 9.6 inches it has a blade length of just shy of 4 inches the handle on it is 5.7 inches so it really has a big big giant handle to it and then weight on it 8.55 ounces so this thing is a it's a monster but actually really comfortable in hand you know I don't have the, the biggest hands out there but this thing is still pretty comfortable I mean you feel like you could do some chopping with this thing if you needed to or if you wanted to choke up you can actually you know it's not exactly a, a finger choil here but you can get up a little bit farther on the blade it has this really nice thumb ramp to it pretty comfortable overall and then looking into you know the specs and the description on this thing it was actually kind of designed as an urban combat and defensive knife so in reverse grip this thing is actually probably it's most comfortable so while it might not be suited for uh, everyday office carry if you happen to live in an area maybe out near Peter from a therapeutic edge and Every time you go to the gas station, people are getting in fights. This one might be a good one to keep with you. So, just a monster of a knife. But I want to bring up a picture here. The reason this thing was named the Plague Doctor, um, I actually didn't really know the history of it, researching it a little bit. The image of the Plague Doctor with the big beak, I mean, you can see this thing really does kind of embody that a little bit. And... Uh, you know, back in European during the times during the Black Death, when the plague doctor would come around wearing that mask, the beak would be stuffed with herbs and stuff to keep away the smell of the rotting corpses, and they'd be dressed head to toe in black wax leather to try and keep from getting the disease that everybody else was dying from. This thing definitely kind of reminds you of that a little bit. It does just look like a deathly looking knife, so. I wanted to get it, I wanted to see it, see what it was all about. It might not be the most practical everyday carry, but it sure is well built and it is solid knife. So, The one thing I was actually really surprised about though, for being as big and chunky as it is, it's actually incredibly thin behind the edge. So this big wide flat grind, this thing is going to be a great slicer. I don't know if I can get it to focus here, but it is very thin behind the edge so it just really has good geometry to the blade while it's big it would actually I mean cardboard is just going to run and hide when I take this thing out for sure so I'll put it through some use um, I definitely got it to, to use and to beat on a little bit I do like a, a big knife like I said and this is certainly one the clip on it is actually you know not bad at all put it in and out of your pocket to, uh, got enough spring to it that goes in easily there's enough space it does slide into your pocket no problem and then the jimping on the backspacer here like I said reverse grip you just get a nice comfortable grip on this thing so definitely a cool knife this one is actually on bronze washers not bearings so deploys really smooth has very very smooth action to it nice thunk when it locks up and if you can see here where it locks up at it's actually directly under the left side of the blade lines up perfectly so this thing is very good mechanics to it overall 
definitely a cool knife though. So there are a couple other from this company that I have been wanting to look at. I really like the designs of their stuff. This one just happened to be the first one that came my way. So glad to have it. Figured I'd show you guys. So again, this is the Steel Will Plague Doctor. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment. If you guys have one of these already, let me know. But that's my video for today. I actually have another really big knife that should be coming in the mail in the next day or two. It's actually my grail knife that I finally was able to find one. And uh, my next couple of videos are going to be good ones. i got some good stuff coming up. So stay tuned for that. I appreciate you guys watching. And hope to see you at the next video. Thanks.